After coding for 10 years, I can confidently say that it is the most fascinating thing I have ever learned. But I didn't start learning to code the right way. In this video, I will walk you through a 7-step process I wish someone had shared with me 10 years ago to learn coding from scratch. And the best part is, you can learn everything within a short time using freely available resources on the internet. So let's get into it. Step 1. Adopt a coding mindset. Most people don't realize it, but having the right mindset is the most important thing while learning to code. Here are the four mindset I wish I had adopted before I started coding. Mindset number one, be a problem solver first and a programmer second. At the end of the day, coding is just a tool for problem solving. Every line of code you write is intended to solve a specific problem. So the challenge is not in writing the code itself, but in thinking about how to solve a problem. Once you figure out the solution, coding becomes easy. Mindset number two, focus on learning the fundamentals. Technologies may come and go, but the core principles and fundamentals of coding remain the same. Mindset number three, focus on practice. It may sound cliche, but I just wanted to remind you that it takes time to get good at anything and coding is no different. And by practice, I don't mean watching tutorials or learning a new programming language. It's actually the time you spend writing code yourself. Mindset number four, have a learning attitude. Software engineering is evolving rapidly and what is relevant now may not be relevant in a few years or even months. So be prepared to learn new things as needed. Step number two, pick up programming language. There are thousands of programming languages available today to meet different needs. Personally, I have learned around eight programming languages in the last 10 years. I started with C programming, but I wouldn't pick it as my first language if I had to start from scratch. The important thing to remember is that once you learn one language, it becomes easier to learn others because they all follow a similar pattern. If I had to start coding from scratch, I would choose Python since it is the most popular and beginner-friendly language. It reads like English and the best part is that it doesn't take too long to learn due to its simple syntax. Python is also a very versatile programming language and is heavily used in scripting, web development, backend, AI and machine learning. Now before writing your first line of code, you want a setup where you can execute code locally. This is where something called an IDE, Integrated Development Environment, comes into picture. There are multiple IDs available, but the one I would recommend for Python is PyCharm by JetBrains. If you prefer something lightweight, you can go with Visual Studio Code or VS Code. How to go about learning Python? There are many great resources available to learn Python, but the one I would recommend is this six-hour video on YouTube called Python Tutorial Python Full Course for Beginners by the channel Programming with Moz. It covers all the fundamental programming concepts like operations, if statements, loops, lists, dictionaries, functions, and much more. It also includes a few mini projects you can build while learning Python. Now you don't have to learn all the libraries and frameworks that Python offers. Most of the things you will use on a daily basis are these fundamental concepts which are covered in this video. Step number three, learn object-oriented programming. There is a difference between knowing how to code and being able to write good code. I spent years writing code without thinking about its structure or quality. But that was a mistake. Once you start working in the industry, you are expected to write code that is structured, modular, reusable, and easy to maintain. That's where object-oriented programming, also called OOPS, comes into play. Learning it will help you understand how industry-level software is written in the real world. Nowadays, many companies expect candidates to write high-quality code during their interview process. That's why learning object-oriented programming from the beginning is important. You should start by learning how to define classes, create objects, and implement basic object-oriented principles such as encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism, and abstraction. I recommend watching these two videos to learn object-oriented programming in Python. First is Intro to Object-Oriented Programming Crash Course by Free Code Camp. And the second is another video from the same channel called Object-Oriented Programming with Python Full Course for Beginners. Once you have a good understanding of OOPS concepts, you can start learning about design patterns. During software development, it is common to come across problems that others have faced before you. To avoid reinventing the wheel, it's important to be familiar with common design patterns. There are so many design patterns and you don't need to learn all of them. The most important ones are Singleton, Factory Method, Observer, Strategy, Decorator, Adapter, and Command Pattern. To learn this, head to this website called Refactoring Guru. They offer a tutorial for learning design patterns in Python. If you want to learn more about object-oriented programming, check out this GitHub repository called Awesome Low Level Design, which contains resources to learn basic fundamental OOPS concepts, design patterns, and the interview questions commonly asked in an object-oriented design interview. Step number four, learn a version control system. While learning to code, you will write code, a lot of code. 
and to make sure you keep track of every line of code you write you should learn a version control system like git git allows you to track changes publish your project share it with others and save god your work even if your computer crashes you should create a github account if you don't already have one where you can regularly post your code to learn git and github you can watch this 43 minutes video called git tutorial for beginners git and github fundamentals in depth by techmit tim step number 5 build projects one of the best ways to improve your coding skills is by building projects this approach helps you understand how to create software from scratch and teaches you various libraries and frameworks that you wouldn't otherwise learn there are two stages when it comes to building projects first you start learning to build projects by watching others and second building projects on your own start by watching this 20 beginner python projects video on free code camp channel this video covers projects such as basic calculator qr code generator world dictionary rock paper scissors game and face detection while watching the video try to implement these projects yourself in pycharm or ide of your choice and run them locally once you have fully watched the video and built all the projects it's time to start building projects on your own remember you won't improve your coding skill just by watching others code you need to write code yourself and use your thinking process you can find many project ideas online here are some of my favorite projects that you can build number 1 a to do list app where you can add tasks delete tasks mark tasks as complete and also view the list of incomplete tasks second a real time chat application that allows users to send messages to each other and join group chats and the third a movie recommendation system that suggests movies based on user preferences and viewing history for more project ideas you can check out this github repository called awesome coding projects these projects can also be included in your resume when applying for jobs if you want me to create a detailed video on more project ideas using python and how to build them let me know in the comments step number 6 learn a cloud computing platform while learning to code you may come up with an idea to build an app or a video game that can be used by thousands or even millions of users but running everything locally on your laptop can be challenging due to limited resources this is where cloud computing services like aws come into play with aws you don't have to worry much about scaling your application to accommodate millions of users learning aws empowers you to bring your ideas to life without the limitations of physical infrastructure aws offers a wide range of services that can be used to build and host your own applications website and projects to get started create a free tier account and familiarize yourself with common aws services such as s3 ec2 dynamodb and lambda To get a head start with AWS, you can watch this 9 and a half hour video by Eduraker titled AWS Tutorial for Beginners. Step number 7: Learn data structures and algorithms. If you're watching this video, chances are you want to land a full-time software engineering job, and that means you will need to clear coding interviews. In an ideal world, if you've completed steps 1 to 6, you're already good enough to work in a software engineering job. But most coding interviews expect you to be good at this thing called data structures and algorithms. Different companies follow different interview styles. Typically, big tech companies like Amazon, Google, and Microsoft focus heavily on data structures and algorithms in their interviews. But many startups focus primarily on development skills. The problem is that many people find learning data structures and algorithms scary, especially if they start by learning it through a textbook or an university course. But here is the good news: once you understand data structures, they are actually not that complicated. Start by learning the most important data structures such as arrays, linked lists, hash tables, stacks, queues, trees and graphs. Once you have a good grasp of data structures, familiarize yourself with algorithms like binary search, sorting, recursion, dynamic programming, breadth first search and depth first search. A great resource for learning these concepts is this 12 and a half hour video on YouTube called Data Structures and Algorithms in Python, full course for beginners. This video covers all the essential concepts that are commonly asked in interviews. Now learning data structures and algorithms is one thing but using them to solve coding problems is another. That's why you need to practice and the best platform to do that is lead code. If you are a beginner and want to learn how to start with lead code the right way check out this video where I answer most common questions people have when starting with lead code. By following this 7 step process you can learn coding from scratch in a short time and prepare yourself for job interviews. I hope you found this video helpful. I provided links to all the mentioned resources in the description. Go check them out. Consider subscribing for more videos like this. If you have any questions or want me to make a video on any other topic, let me know in the comments. I will see you in the next one.